Hello again, everybody. It's Miguel Tio, the North Country Latino, wishing you a festive and blessed Quaresma. That's Lent, of course. And as you can hear in the background, no Latin music for Lent. So we're going to come over here today because we have not given up Latin food. But we're going to take a little bit different visit to the Caribbean tonight by keeping in our prayers this Quaresma our neighbors in Haiti and everything they're still going with and trying to go with down there in the wake of the days since the hurricane. We've got some beautiful red new potatoes boiling and we're going to accompany that with some green onions, some ground mustard, some broccoli, some cider vinegar, paprika, and of course haven't given up Goya for Quaresma. So it's going to be Haitian broccoli vinaigrette and hot potatoes tonight. On Migo Tio, the North Country Latino. Time to get cooking, babies. The potatoes are starting to boil, so while we're going to do that, we're going to steam our broccoli and get that going nice and warm. So we'll get things going here on the stove top in two ways, potatoes and broccoli. And then after everything's going on the stove for a while, we'll cut up the onions and get them all prepped. Once the potatoes are boiled, we're going to let them do their thing for about 20 minutes and it takes about 10 minutes to steam this broccoli so there'll be some time in between setting it for 250 here. I'm going to take my machete and cut off the ends of the green onions, scallions if people like to call them that. And then you basically chop the white ends off as far as you can until you get to the ends you don't eat. And toss out the extra. I like cooking during Quaresma. Special recipes I don't make other times of the year. Especially on Fridays when it's meatless. Because, I mean, you know, anybody can make this or that in October or August or some other month of the year. But Quaresma and it's got its own foods, just like the holidays, you know? Or any other day that you deem important. You like to have that set off in the rest of the time of the year, you know? So we got everything pretty much ready to go here. Potatoes are still boiling. Broccoli's starting to get going. We're starting to make some Haitian hot potato broccoli vinaigrette, baby. So now that our broccoli is done steaming, we're going to chop it up real fine. Get it so it's ready to be vinaigrette later. Well, now that the potatoes are done, we're going to chop them up. Actually, we're just going to cube them. Nice and tender. You can do it with one hand. Holy cow. You keep the skins on. So it's not like you're peeling and doing all that stuff. That's the neat thing about a lot of red potato recipes I've had, is that you keep the skins on. Gives it a little different flavor that way. And of course, you know, good potato skins, as long as they're not fried up and everything, are very nutritious for you. And yeah, the fried ones are good once in a while too.
So this is going to make an excellent, almost like a hot salad. Finish doing that right now. And once those potatoes are all nice and cubed up, we're going to set them aside and start the vinaigrette. Now to start a vinaigrette, we're going to take into the same pot I did the potatoes in, now I've got it all emptied out, a third of a cup of olive oil. I don't do a lot with olive oil, but what I do with anything with oil, olive oil is my choice. And then add to it a little clove of the minced garlic. with the garlic and we're going to add some dry mustard good stuff and also the cider vinegar takes five tablespoons About a quarter teaspoon to be exact. And we got our scallions from earlier. We're going to throw them in. Just a little bit of you know, gotta be good. I'm gonna turn that down to low. And you're pretty much sauteing around until those onions are soft to your own taste. I'm going to kind of stir them around here. And you see what we got going. And once this is all to your taste, it's going to go right over the potatoes and the broccoli. Well, our potatoes are ready to be served. We're going to add the broccoli. Dump it all in together. And of course, toss it up. Evenly mix throughout. Of course, you do what you can to keep it warm too while everything else is going on. And this is going to be really, really good, folks. Awesome Haitian recipe. To curve all the sacrifice of Lent and to remember the Haitian people this time of year when things are still tough. And we've got a vinaigrette all ready to be poured right over. 
They just ease it over just like a salad. Now this could be a main dish if you really wanted to eat quite a bit of it. And you would really cut off your meat for the Lent season. But it could also be an accompaniment. And tonight we're going to have an accompaniment with salmon patties. But my wife's in charge of that, so you won't see me cooking that here. Oh well, but this is Haitian hot potato and broccoli vinaigrette. And of course, for Migotillo, the North Country Latino, it's time to eat! Or Danny! 